super coconutty. Hello vegan food explorers, I've got a quick video for you today and it is called the Battle of the Baristas. So I've got my absolute favourite plant meal that is just so delicious. It is the Oatly Barista, very special plant milk right there. And then I've got the Alpro Barista Coconut, which I have never seen before. I am a sucker for all things barista flavour um, because I think it's just so creamy. It's creamier, it's thicker, it's absolutely delicious. So I wanted to try and see if we could find out which is better. So let's have a look at them first. So Oatly Barista is £1.90 already. Mickey's here, he wants to go upstairs. Let's let him out. So this is £1.90 which is premium. This is a super premium plant milk, but it's my absolute favorite. It's got water, oats, it's got a bit of rapeseed oil and another um, few items, but it makes it super, super creamy. It's also great in hot drinks. You can um, whisk it up really nicely if you have a frothing machine, or even we use sometimes on our um, hob, we hob up the milk and then use a little uh, whisk and it froths up really, really nice. So, Let's look at the calories as well, because it'd be quite interesting. So it's 59 calories and it's got three grams of fat. That's from that oil, which gives it that real thickness um, and other stuff, but I assume the oil as well. Um, and then uh, carbohydrates, six grams and protein, one gram. So very low on those, but then you just got a bit of carbohydrates, bit of fat, really creamy. So, okay, that is that. Then this, this is made by Outpro. The previous is made by Oatly. And this is Barista Coconut. And this is £1.80, so it is slightly cheaper than the Oatly Barista, which I thought was very interesting. Ingredients in this is water, coconut milk, then coco oh, which is made from coconut cream and water. Oh, then it's got whole soya beans. What? Then it's got sugar, fructose, regulators, calcium, sea salt flavouring, stabiliser, gum. Ooh. So that's really interesting. So this is gonna have coconutty flavor, but then the soy, really interested to see what that's got in and what flavor that gives it, because soy has a very specific flavor, but so does coconut. So I'm not such a fan of coconut milk. I often think that it just overpowers everything for your hot drinks, but on its own or in a, like a smoothie and things like that, I think it's epic because it adds that natural sweetness and it's obviously got some sweeteners included but i think that taste is so nice so i'm really interested to see what is what with this calorie wise 33 calories um, per 100 milk 1.4 grams of fat so basically no fat um very low and then carbohydrate 3.3 so half that hot le less than half the amount of fat less than half the amount of carbohydrate Protein 1.5, so more protein, which is interesting. It's because it's got the soybeans in, and then you've got your trace uh, other minerals and things like that. Anyway, that's very interesting. So cheaper, slightly different um, macronutrient profile, very interesting ingredients. Also, they don't have the, any oil in to make it thicker from the barista, so that's really interesting. I assume the coconut cream can do that. So let's pour them out, we'll have a look at them, do the taste test. I've just given each one a little bit of a shake just to uh, make sure they're properly mixed so they will have a bit of foam in them. Just look how thick that Oatly Barista is. It's so thick, it's crazy. It's like cream, oh, and it sticks to the sides, epic. I would just think it doesn't quite look like uh, dairy milk. It's got that kind of slightly tinge to it, um, but it looks really nice, refreshing, delicious. Right, let's do the coconut milk, okay. Oh wow, already that is so much more white. I would say, yeah, you can maybe hopefully see that on the camera. Super white, that looks exactly like a glass of dairy milk. Slightly darker, the oat milk. Wow, that looks good. Not as thick, I would say. Looks a bit more runny. Okay, let's do a taste test. So, my absolute favorite, Oatly Barista. Let's go for it. Smells, just smells oaty, creamy. Not as strong as I remember it smelling, but yeah, great. Super thick, almost like it looks like um, double cream in there. Let's go for a taste test. Mm. 
it's so thick. It doesn't have a strong taste, but it's just a smooth taste, very bold, powerful, delicious, not overwhelming at all. It's just, when you mix it with a tea or a coffee, it just mixes perfectly. The oil makes it just a real, adds a creaminess to it. And if you have a coffee, making a flat white, it's awesome. Or if you just have it in your tea, it's really, really nice. It adds that little sweetness to the end of the tea. Really good. Right, I'm just gonna wash my mouth out quickly. Right, let's go for the coconut. So like I said, much more white. I would say less creamy, it looks like, than the barista, but let's go, than the Oatly barista. Let's go for it, okay. Whoa! Super coconutty, super, super. Wow, it smells like a bounty. Okay, right. Wow, that's really interesting actually. It's not as thick as I was thinking, especially coming from the Oatly. It's, it's not as thick as that, but it definitely adds something more to your regular coconut milk. I also think, I find coconut milk often quite overwhelming sometimes, but this, it, because it's got the soybeans, it's a little bit more of a different flavour profile. It's a bit more sweet and Whereas before, I think the coconut milks I've had in the past have been more coconutty and then sweet. This is more balanced. So you get the really deliciousness of a coconut um, flavour, but then that sweet, sweet flavour. But also a bit of the soybean as well. It, you can't really taste it. It's not like a soy milk, but it's just, I think, takes the edge off the coconut. Really nice, actually. Doesn't taste to me as thick as the Oatly Barista, but... It's still got a bit of a, a thickness. And I can imagine that being really nice actually in your teas, your coffees, that whisk up real nice actually. And I don't think it would be as overpowering as your non-barista versions of coconut milk, which is really interesting. Um, and that, that's, that's kind of my thoughts on that. So I'd say not as thick as Oatly, but it's pretty delicious. If you don't like coconut milk, this is not gonna be for you. Definitely 100% not. But if you do, this does take it to a new level. This mixed with maybe some like um, vegan chocolate powder would be delicious, really, really nice because it has that natural sweetness of the coconut, which really adds to the flavor. It gives a whole different profile. So in conclusion, I'm sticking with my Oatly Barista. Oatly Barista for my hot drinks and for when I just really want to have the most delicious flavoring cereal in the world. However, I've been quite impressed with this, and I definitely think if you see the word barista on a reputable brand of plant milk, you know it's gonna be pretty good. From my experience of these two brands, I think they're really, really high quality. It just adds a little bit of thickness to it, and it just tempers the flavor a little bit and makes it just a little bit better, basically. So the Oatly definitely becomes even creamier, and with the coconut, just takes the edge off and makes that balance a little bit better. So I definitely recommend it. If you love coconut milk, this is gonna be absolutely epic. It's gonna mix, should mix much better. It should be easy to steam, things like that. You can do the latte art, stuff like that. So definitely recommend it. Also, it's 10p cheaper. So that is my review of the two, two kind of the big, big barista brands, the, battle, the first battle of the baristas. I definitely wanna get more baristas out here, see if they can topple the mighty Oatly barista. But I think this doesn't quite do it for me, but it definitely adds something different. And if you're a coconut lover, you'll love it. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite barista milk is out there. Are there other brands that I've missed? I definitely think there is a soya barista milk, which I'm gonna track down and find. We'll see if it can knock Oatly off the perch. Thank you for watching. We've got tons of videos, loads of vegan content coming up. So stay tuned. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.